Now we'll go ahead and start adding our own custom texture. I've already saved some textures that I'd like to use here to my desktop and I downloaded these from cgtextures.com so you can go here and register for an account and find some tiling textures and we'll go ahead and start with this grass right here open that in Photoshop 32-bit now to ensure that your Crytif plugin is working properly go to help about plugin Crytif plugin and ensure that this light is green by setting this path to your CryEngine 3 path and you're going to want to make sure that the image is in increments of 64 so 256 or 512 or 1024 it's important and we're going to save this image as using the Crytif extension and that's going to give you a load of options specific to Crytif for a terrain texture you're going to want to choose terrain diffuse terrain diffuse high pass would be if you high pass the texture on your own which would make it gray terrain diffuse is going to grade automatically for you and the reason is we want everything to have a grayish base for proper blending but you can set the color and brightness in the editor as I already showed you go ahead and set OK I saved the grass crytiff to my desktop and you're going to navigate to your CryEngine folder under the game folder where all the assets for our game are going to be located and you'll see all these .pack files which is the default Cry, uh, engine assets and if you create a folder with the same name as these the engine will read that folder just the same as it reads all its files from here and you can use the program 7-zip to go into these files and see all the folders in these compressed files so under your textures create a new folder custom or it can be whatever you like we'll go ahead and name this one grass and if you place your grass crytiff in here you're gonna see something neat the engine does automatically for you is it creates a .dds file based off of your uh, crytiff and that's what the engine actually is going to use for its material alright now back in the editor let's go to texture and add a new layer we'll name it grass and for the layer texture we're gonna use that same gray image we used before in cryengine game textures terrain 128 gray.bmp this is important that these are all gray so that your textures blend properly and we'll exit the textures and hit M for the materials and we're gonna wanna create a new material by clicking this button and we'll navigate to our cryengine game now we wanna create a new folder named materials and just like we created a textures folder to be read alongside the textures pack materials is gonna do the same thing so if we want to create a grass folder within there we can save our grass one material and now you'll see alongside all the other materials your grass folder and your new grass material and it's important that the shader for a terrain be a terrain layer and the surface type can be soil and now we'll set the diffuse which is basically our base texture image to the texture that we created which we saved in our own textures grass folder this is the crytiff which automatically generated a DDS and you can see that's a slightly grayer version of our original image because we selected the terrain diffuse option in crytiff and it's important that these are all slightly gray for proper blending you can set the color and brightness like I showed you earlier and I'll show you right now so with that texture selected we go to the textures and we assign that material to our new grass layer and now we can go ahead and modify excuse me layer paint we can paint the grass to our map and it's important to set the color and the brightness to something decent and you can paint that grass on there and you can see it's not too bad but it's not necessarily blending perfect and that's because of a few things so for this base ground layer that we were using you can hit M to go to your materials and we were using this ground mossy coast material and you can see the diffuse color is set a lot lower than our custom grass texture 
And in order for textures to blend properly, it's important that these diffuse colors be similar. But we're not going to worry about it too much because we're going to add our own new custom texture now. And they'll, be, they'll both have diffuse colors of absolute white. So now I'll rather quickly create a new custom texture. And since we've already done this once, you can just see what I'm doing to reassure that you're doing the proper steps. Let's do, let's do sand open it in Photoshop we want to resize the image 512 works nicely and we'll save that using our Crytif extension and we're going to use terrain diffuse which is going to gray our image for us hit OK and now we have our sand Crytif under our textures folder we'll make a new sand folder and you can see upon placing your Crytif texture it's going to auto generate a DDS now back in the engine let's create a new layer we'll name it sand1 we're gonna reuse that same gray bitmap and later on if you want to replace these with low resolution gray versions of your image you can do that and that will probably help with blending but this is working fine for now so now we have our sand texture layer let's go to materials we can either create a new material or we can just duplicate this one and rename it but I want it to be in its own sand folder and it'll be sand1 dot material since it's a duplicate it's using the same diffuse texture but we'll navigate and there you can see the DDS which was auto created for us and we have applied it to our material and with this material selected we can go to our texture layer and assign it to the sand layer. Now we can see our sand under layer painter and we'll go ahead and paint some sand on there. Remember it's important to set the color and the brightness. And this is actually what we're going to want to use for our base so we'll paint it everywhere. So now we can paint some grass on top of our sand. And remember to set your color. And you can see these blend a lot nicer. And one setting I forgot to tell you is in the material editor. If we select our grass and the diffuse image that we set, you have a tiling option right here and it's important that you play with this setting by default it will be one and this is going to affect how often your your image is repeated so if it's too high your image is going to tile too much and look horrible from far away but if it's too low your image won't tile enough and will look horrible from close up so excuse me, point 0.3 should give us a decent setting. And one thing I haven't talked about yet is if you hit control G, you can pop into the game instantly. Everything's real time. So you can hit escape to get back to editing. And I'll go ahead and finish painting some grass. If you want to use this eyedropper tool, you can select the same color that you had before and I'll finish quickly painting some grass onto the top of the rest of our map and back in the materials editor we can see that both our grass and our sand have a diffuse color of the same usually white is the best and that's what's causing them to blend so nicely and so I was going to create a third layer using this dirt texture 
but I think you get the point. I highly recommend that you do this though, because it's important for getting realistic looks. You can see this would make a great intermediate blending between these two textures. So there you have your basics for textures. And in the next tutorial, we'll cover how to import your own textured 3D models using Softimage Mod Tool. And just a quick tip, if you hold shift while you fly around, you can move a lot faster. And that's it for this tutorial.